Hi, I'm Jeff Haynes, editor at Tech Bargains, and today we're bringing you the video review of the game's G155 mobile gaming environment. How many times have you been playing a console game at home, only to be frustrated by the fact that you just can't bring that experience with you? Clearly, bringing a TV around wherever you go isn't practical, your favorite console could get damaged, and there are way too many cords and cables to wrangle. The G155 attempts to address these issues in one light, sturdy, and condensed package. The game's G155 looks like a small suitcase or briefcase. It's 20 inches wide and 15 inches high, meaning it easily fits in the trunk or backseat of a car or the overhead bin of a plane. In fact, it complies with TSA regulations. When opened, the station is clearly dominated by the 15.5 inch LED HD display. It also comes with two stereo speakers, as well as dual headphone jacks for multiplayer matches and games. The bottom includes a foam base that is molded on both sides, one for the original Xbox 360, while the other side is for the PS3 Slim and Xbox 360S. This helps you place the system of your choice on the pad and secure it with the included straps to keep it from moving. It also comes with two storage bags that are designed to hold controllers, power supplies, and accessories. Finally, the system packs a 7-inch HDMI cable and a power adapter. We are really impressed by the construction of the G155. With something designed to protect your console on the go, you might be concerned that the case would be overly heavy or cumbersome to bring with you. However, our concerns with the weight of the case were unfounded. It's actually quite light and easy to carry. The environment weighs 8.6 pounds without any system strapped into it. Even with the system inside it, it's not overly bulky or unwieldy, so you can cart this unit from place to place without any issues thanks to the handle. Although it may have been easier to carry if it had a shoulder or backpack straps, it's still compact and well made to bring it anywhere you go. Plus, the case can take quite a few knocks. We've actually had the device tip over or get banged around a couple of times in transport, but discovered absolutely no damage to the items inside the case. We also like the screen of the G155. Sure, it might not be as solid as a television or projector setup at home, but for a 15.5 inch screen that runs at 720p, it does a surprisingly solid job. The screen is pretty good at a distance and has a decent handling of blacks, brightness, and high contrast games. There are some issues, such as the fact that the contrast and brightness adjustments are pretty minimal, but it managed to handle gameplay from systems without any discernible input slowdown, even with the 60Hz screen. We were impressed that the screen could handle everything from higher contrast games like Madden to faster motion titles like Burnout Revenge without any massive visual issues. While the screen is somewhat glossy, the case manages to cut down on some of the glare that can plague displays like this. It would have been nice if the display had better angles, but the screen was clearly designed for two-player matches with both players sitting next to each other. If you're more than 50 degrees to either the left or the right, you'll get some color shifting, fading, and a couple of other issues, so don't expect to watch any videos with a large group of friends. We were pleasantly surprised by the sound of the system as well. We didn't think that a self-contained system would pack solid speakers, but we were pleased to find that we actually needed to turn down the volume to not disrupt the office when we opened fire during Mass Effect or were being swarmed by zombies and Left 4 Dead 2. We also liked that we could plug in our headphones and get a pretty decent amount of sound. Finally, we liked that we could completely run the system while it was strapped down in the shell of the G155. Frequently, cases that are designed for system transport are just that, system transport that will overheat the device if you attempt to run it in the case. The G155 is actually designed to allow players to play their games in a secure fashion, and the straps that hold it in place don't hamper the fans on the rear of the console. We did find some flaws with the G155 as we kept testing the environment. For one thing, the G155 only packs an HDMI connection, meaning that if you use a component cable for your systems, you won't be able to hook up the console unless you have a converter kit. Game specifically mentions that within the instructions for the environment, but users should be forewarned that you could pick up some flicker or other visual issues because of the conversion of the signal. Not every gamer uses HDMI for every system, which is particularly true for owners of the original Xbox 360, so being forced to get a converter is a weaker choice for the unit. It wouldn't have ruined the screen aesthetic of the module to put the inputs on the side of the monitor. Another issue that we had with the G155 was that the system doesn't hold everything you need for a true gaming session on the go. This is especially true when it comes to holding a 360 power brick, which can easily fill one storage bag by itself. In fact, you might be able to get a controller or two, and maybe even a few cables stored within the units, but forget storing any games within the G155. There just simply isn't any space. 
Now this sucks because it means that you have to carry around a separate bag along with the G155 to truly enjoy your gaming on the go. It might not be a big deal if you're only going to play one game when you're away from home, but if you're going to be on vacation, you'll probably want more than just one game to play, so expect to make a lot more space in your carry-on luggage. We had two other minor issues that seemed a bit more apparent with the environment. While we liked the fact that we could play a console that was securely fastened within the system, we did find that the rear vents from either a PS3 or a 360 could make the screen and its buttons incredibly warm, especially during prolonged gaming sessions. It would have been nice if the case came with an extra hinge so the screen could be raised higher than the vents, but that's a minor issue. The other minor issue that we realized is the price of the G155 could limit this to becoming a niche product. At $299, the G155 costs the same as a PS3 or a 360, meaning that you're really going to pay a premium if you want to take your console on the go. Now there are a few cases we can easily see this working out for. The hardcore gamer that likes LAN parties or clan play with their favorite game, college students that don't have their own TV, or deployed military service members looking for some R&R. &R. But, given the fact that it comes with a monitor and is very secure for a system, it's more of a consideration for consumers than a hindrance. We really like the versatility of the game's G155, because it let us play our consoles anywhere we wanted to go. The case is light, sturdy, and secure, and we were actually surprised to find that the screen and the speakers were better than we initially thought. While we wish that the component connections were actually included on the set, and that it had a little extra storage in the case for games or accessories for each console, overall, for gamers on the go, you should really consider this device. For these reasons, we decided to give the game's G155 mobile gaming environment a 4 out of 5. For more reviews on the latest products, as well as coupons and deals on devices like the game's G155, be sure to check out techbargains.com.